Okay, what we've got here is a setup with an electric field and a crossed magnetic field. Now just now the only thing that's turned on is electric. the electric field. So the beam of electrons, the positive plate is the top plate, negative plate at the bottom. What's the voltage across that? 5,000. 5,000 volts, as you can hopefully see on the EHT supply. Okay. And okay, there's the beam of electrons being deflected up the way towards a positive plate. Now, if we turn on the current to the magnetic field, which is a DC current of how much? 0.35 amps. 0.35 amps through the Helmholtz coils, and then that current in the coil is enough to produce a magnetic field which then straightens out the beam. Turn the magnetic field current off again. So there's the electric field only and then when we turn the coils on the magnetic field straightens out the beam therefore the electric force is being balanced by the magnetic force. Yeah? That's brilliant. So on the right hand side there we've got the EHT that's the high voltage that's producing the electric field, 5,000 volts. On the left hand side, we've got a DC circuit supplying a current of about 0.35 amps, which is providing the current in the Helmholtz coils to produce the magnetic field. And the crossed magnetic electric fields cause an undeflected path for the electron beam. As presented to you by Mr. Dr. Professor Andrew McLaren, JJ for short, because this is the apparatus used by JJ Thompson to measure the charge to mass ratio for an electron.